Hey everyone, I'm Alfred and welcome back to Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor! An herb I need is nearby. Hirgon has a plan to draw the Black Captain's attention to Udun, but he's going to need more men to accomplish it. Infiltrate the Uruk stronghold and free the outcasts. Outcast men. Call that Tolkien usually uses men as the shorthand for human. So you're like, you have elves, men, orcs, dwarves, etc. Which I kind of like. I like making men more generic, you know? have yet to discover the secrets of the blasting powder and hopefully they never will to find out you believe the blasting powder can draw out the black hand i pray so the enemy gathers at uruk's hollow where many of my men are enslaved i pray aaron too is there i will handle the aaron with a y to make it more Perhaps fantasy we can take a more stealthy approach and incapacitate them by using their weakness grog have you ever heard of hithless it's toxic and is good for one thing, poisoning orcs. <laughs> Follow me. When I deserted the Black Gate, I fell sick. It was Aaron who nursed me to health. Is she the reason you joined the tribesmen? Of the many, she is my most cherished. <laughs> there are only so many camps my wife could have been taken to. Do you believe she will be at this one? My heart says yes. I hope for your sake she is here, God. So yeah, like, everyone that you find in Mordor is usually like a deserter or a criminal or a slave. Talion himself killed a guy. Be careful, Ranger. Like, I can only assume that the guy had it coming just because, like, they want Talion to be relatively normal. I don't know if they want him to be a full-on villain yet. They arguably do later, but not right now. Hithlas. Wherever that ranger may be, of course. I don't even know where he is. I kind of wish that there was like a creative character for this game. Like just the just how many orcs there are, the way that you can have like that dude's core strength is impeccable. And his shoulders? Dang. It's not easy to just dangle yourself from a any anywhere like that. But like try to look at the orcs. Like they all have classes. They can be worms, captains, war chiefs, bodyguards. There are more plants ahead. Follow me. But, like, they have a variety of body shapes, of styles, uh, like skull shapes, heads. With a blustery dwarf. We took his powder and left him our footprints. Pretty fair, if you ask me. Scum. You are proving yourself to be a strong leader. Or a deserter. That is only because I leave the hard work to men like you. Was I just talking about? Damn it. Did you hear that? Oh, create a character. Yeah, it'd be kind of interesting to play an orc in this game, you know? Because, like, Talion is something of a scumbag and uses orcs for his own devices, you know? Like, even, like, looking at this, looking at Sauron's army, these are just pieces on a, on a chess field. Oh.
But yeah, these are all pieces on a chessboard, you know? And so it means that, like, um, you know, you're not going to be an orc and move up the ranks. And because the ranks themselves are so small and short, like, even the flowers are of death. There are far worse things than flowers here. I know. I live here too. Who do you think would be best to fight a duel? An elf or a wizard? Don't matter. I could beat any of them. A wizard would have you hung from a tree by your own entrails with just a flick of his finger. <laughs> Won't be no wizards to worry about once the dark and all. Dude, you're blowing my cover. Well, that ain't good. The thing is, is that I, I know that I have some elf shot that I can use, but like... Is that it? We good? We good. Luckily, this thing is about collecting orbs. But yeah, like if if the chains of commands were like super huge, or like they were stacked, so there's like sixteen guys at the top, or there's like sixteen guys at the bottom. There's eight guys at the top. I thought it impossible Sauron would ever return. Darkness descends upon Mordor. Soon it will be impossible not to succumb. When we realized we couldn't fight the orcs, we started dressing up like slaves, sneaking into their camps to free the others. A bold strategy. Not really. Most of <laughs> we'd end up slaves ourselves. At least we came dressed for the part. When I was first rescued by the outcasts, they told me you led the search party for my head. I volunteered. Were you caught, our fellow rangers would have killed you. I cannot let you suffer that fate. Come on, here, gun. But yeah, um, the fact that, like, the army feels, like, so full and alive and yet, like, so chaotic and disorganized is why I feel like this game works. Like, I give this game more credit than maybe it deserves. Because, like, we almost have enough poison for our purpose. you know, there are some things that are like, eh, this is kind of lame, you know? You know, like, hey, this is just Batman Arkham, but, like, the, the way that this game handles and treats the orcs, like, I feel like it works so well. Is this a fresh tower, by the way? Because, like, kind of want to snag that while I'm here. Right. Got to focus on enough things at a time already. There we go. Now to Uruk's Hollow. This should be enough. Now all you have to do is drop it into their grog. This is for multiple barrels, by the way. No, but if they spot you, I doubt they will drink from it. The Uruks are stationed by the front gates. For the sake of my men, keep to the shadows. I'll gather my men and wait. We'll stand ready to seize the blasting powder once the camp is clear. Sorry, I'm trying to preempt this guy. Probably shouldn't do that. But yeah, like, just the idea of, like, you can be a Sauruman and you can use orcs for your own devices. That's cool. Uh, 
Ability unlocked. Poison Krog. Okay, now I'm gonna get this. No one can stop me. So we have to directly kill five orcs of our own from stealth. I think that counts with a bow. Yeah, all right. Silver spread through Sauron's land. These towers push away the... Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, we can get some goodies. Let's grab Max Health, Focus, and Elf Shot. Storm of Urfel. That's just Devil Trigger. Flame of Axar. Bow Devil Trigger. And Stealth Devil Trigger. Strictly speaking, I guess it's almost more of the Rage of the Gods. I want this because this is this allows me multiple different useful things, you know? Like, it's not just that it's a straight upgrade. It's also that I can put this on and then I can slot it out and put something else on. Let's scare some guys, huh? Yeah, like, compare those two guys and their, like, different hair colors and hair. And those are just, like, two archers, you know? That's awesome. Come on, Talion. They're singing. Some guys sniff around here. And again, I feel like the fact that these are orcs, like, if they saw someone getting stabbed, they wouldn't really care that much, you know? They're like, oh, boy, for me, you know? Like, the meats back on the menu scene is, like, a meme, obviously. But I feel like it so well illustrates how orcs work, you know? Just the fact that, like, they want some meat, one of them's being a dick about it. Even though they all do want meat, you know, this guy can't follow his orders. And they're like, all right, fine, we'll get some meat. And, and they, they go into like an almost like shark-like feeding frenzy. Well, that ain't good. If I had an elf shot, I might have been able to snipe him. I say snipe him, but like, I was three feet in front of him. Oh, those guys ain't there now. Well. Oh, I can still get my stealth kills, too. Look at this. This is like a this is like a long sh uh, a long ship. I feel like cross borks are uh, a big problem for me. You know. Sleep. 
Sorry, I feel like I should be quiet because I'm, like, trying to sneak. Poison to Grog. No wonder this stuff burns so well. See, as mentioned, uh, if you have the Burning Arrows upgrade, you can actually shoot Grog and it will explode like you shot a red barrel in a typical RPG. Or a green one in Bulletstorm. So you can start to see that uh, maybe some carousing is starting to happen. Some revelry. Shame. So this is an aspect of the Nemesis system that has not become a, a, a factor yet. But one of the things about it is that your Nemesises will actually start to gain power uh, relative to what you have. So like if you are featuring stealth... Uh, if you are favoring stealth, rather, they'll be like, Hey, what if we became immune to stealth? Yoink. Um, and orcs. I've been playing this one a little close to the chest, but I don't know if I really need to. Orcs can come back from the dead. And the reason for this is because they work for a man who, I mean, I, I say a man, but not really, but a, uh, a thing who has uh, sometimes been affectionately been known as the necromancer. And yes, Sauron is a necromancer. He can revive the dead if he needs. Boy, I hope he didn't get any of his friends notified. No, cool. Let's get the hell out of here. Mushrooms. Blue milk. That has to be a Star Wars reference. It would be hard, if not impossible, to mistake the blue milk. This rare but delicious mushroom has a blue cap and stalk. When cut, it is a blue-hued milky substance commonly employed in medicinal concoctions. Blue milk, when consumed, will cons quell hunger for up to half a day and can instill a sense of heightened awareness. The cap and stalk can be separated and dried and then ground into flakes used in soups or used by healers medicinally in salads and unguents to treat sores. That has to be a Star Wars reference. After how hard they pushed blue milk in uh, 8. Pile them up. <laughs> I love that they have their fun little drinking songs, you know? I do like orcs. I do really enjoy them. I think there's a lot that the average person can learn from an orc, you know? My headphones, uh, or my game rather, is currently calibrated for headphones, so if you have headphones on, I think that's the best way to listen to this. Again, I'm being quiet because I want to stay sneaky, but I don't really need to be. The orcs can't hear me. I'm just focusing in hardcore. Also, I feel like because I'm just like stealthing and doing like uh, side content, I don't really have that much to talk about. I'm surprised they can keep it down. <laughs> you guys know what Grog is, actually? What was that? You say something, slave? If I hear so much 
Grog is, I think, rum and lime. Lime juice. Which sounds way more like a fun, like, cocktail-y, like, vacation drink, you know? You gotta be quiet. You know, like... As opposed to the even worse squalor a couple miles south of here, right? But yeah, grog, like, for what grog actually is, because it's, it's rum, because there's a lot of rum in pirate boats. Uh, and it's lemon juice, or lime juice or something, to battle scurvy. And that was how you could, you know, you could get your limes. That thing totally just clipped into the sheath. Come with me. Come with me. Oh, that's nice. Talion looks so uncomfortable. He's like, boy, I wish my wife wasn't dead. <laughs> Poor SOB. That tattoo I mentioned a couple of episodes ago is really starting to flake. It's good. It means it's healing. All right. Pause this if you want to read it. And back to the action. So let's find our next Missione. The war chief. Um, maybe not now. Let's hit that and let's... Oops. Yeah. Let's do one of them, huh? This way. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and warn the, the crew here. You should keep your distance from me. Why? What's your promise? Disgust you. Ghouls. I love that they're tagged with, like, the beast symbol. You know what? Yeah, you're right. For the war chief. I saw this amazing post. It was like, tomatoes, uh, uh, Skyrim was right. Tomato soup does restore 10 hit points. <laughs> so this is, uh, these are those sword legends I mentioned. But there was, you know, it's like a thing where, like, there was once a, a big, cool, heroic story of somebody shooting this hard, this many times, this fast. There we go. And so, in order to make the legend real, you forge that into your bow. You forge that into yourself. Complete these and other side missions to earn Mirian. Earn enough, you'll be able to purchase a devastatingly powerful ability for your bow. The Flame of Ashkar will allow a burst of unlimited elf shot focus and fire arrows. Oh man, they kicked up a ghoul uh, nest. That's real bad, guys. That's one of those things that I feel like goes unappreciated. The idea of an enemy that is even weaker and crappier than a normal orc, who are already kind of crappy. Uh, that's cool, you know? The one truth. Gollum is hungry to lead the Bright Master of the Artifacts. With each discovery, the power of the Wraith grows, and his connection to the Dark Lord becomes clearer. Why am I getting a battery percentage there? The 
Let's go find your precious treasure. <laughs> they cannot stop throwing precious around, man. Yeah, the little vermin is not here. One moment. Sorry, I don't know why I'm getting a battery notification. Rabbits from up high, and so shall we. He said the eagle hunts rabbits from up high, and so shall we. Yeah, I don't know why he, uh, I don't know why I'm getting a battery notification, because my laptop is plugged in. And yes, I currently record on a laptop. These towers were not built by the Dark Lord, but to challenge him. Now only ruins, directed in darkness. Running around in the, wa in the Wraith world is really cool. Although it is difficult to pronounce because there's a WR and then a W right next to it. Wraith world. You end up with Wraith world a lot. Hey, new bigger problem. Ugh. Again, the sound design is just wah. A grog. I need at least 20 men to bring that beast out. Oh, then we must find another way. So yeah, Graugs, big problem. Charging for the cave's mouth will only lead us into the Graugs' jaws. A well-placed arrow will do the trick here. Yeah. The air here is thick in death. Seriously, what is that? Is that my data? Sorry, I feel like this is almost going to derail the episode. Why am I not surprised? So yeah, ghouls and graugs. I don't actually know what a graug is. I think it's um, I think it's just the word for troll, and it's a species of troll that can be out in the day. Looks like the graug won his fight against the Karagors, and now is ready for another. Maybe it's the word for ogre. But yeah. In terms of like, orc is a orc is a baseline, and there are weaker orcs or stronger orcs. From the depths of the earth. But I feel like they're m here at least partially in a pure gameplay sense of like, hey, we wanted a thing that is bigger and stronger and meaner than orcs that you can ride on, and a thing even bigger and stronger and meaner than that. Can I not get anything here? Um, yeah, we wanted something bigger, stronger, and meaner than orcs. And then we wanted something bigger, stronger, and meaner than that, that you can't ride. Because you can ride Karagors. And I think you do end up eventually later getting the ability to ride Graugs, but it's not what we're talking about, is it? And then ghouls are, of course, like, when you want to just go sicko mode and have a horde mode. That's what you want, you know? Oh, he's having a horrible flashback to his last dentist visit. It's so needlessly extra cool. So, some of you might have recognized the name Anatar Lord of Gifts. I know that Aaron and Sarah in particular, I have told about how a certain man used that pseudonym. But that's our elf lord Wraith and Anatar Lord of Gifts working together to make a bunch of rings. Such art. And now we got a name. Which means nothing to most people, I imagine. Greatest smith of the second age. I'd heard the stories, but I remember my name now. I shaped the history of Middle Earth. I crafted the rings of power. So that's why he's plot relevant. He forged the rings. Sauron didn't do it alone, you know?
Fly, you fool. Hey, it's Lord of the Rings. Again, that's the classical sense of fly. Oh, it's so cool. But yeah, classical sense of fly, that does not literally mean fly away. But in fact means run really fast. Also, I love that like these guys are like, look, you don't have a chance. So you know we don't have a chance. Can I... That ain't good. Minor visual glitching, don't worry about that. Should be fine. But yeah, I have no idea how this works. There's not very much teleportation in Lord of the Rings, and even a lot of the contemporaries don't use it. D&D &D, uh, and a lot of those don't use the teleportation spells very much. They're typically very high-level spells. I'm the one responsible for all of this. That's why Sauron wants me. Uh, and Aragon only does it, like, twice? insolent Okay, sorry, I just, look, I can't stop thinking about this now. Imagine Talion in, like, one of those, like, slutty cut-off shirts and, like, booty shorts that say Nasty Ranger on the ass. I can't not think about it now. Also, I have no memory of blank. Yeah, all right. I grasp at vespers of memory, the rings of power. No. To men, their power became their undoing. They became the ring wraiths. Yes, the Nazgul. But the Nazgul were destroyed. As are many who come in contact with the rings of power. So this game goes ahead with the lore that, hey, no, Nazgul just means Ring Wraith. And I'm fine with that. There we go. I hate the word Hellhawk because uh, normally Professor Tolkien is pretty sparse about using straight up English words without, like, trying to make something out of it. And Hell is so, like, culturally specific that, like, Can I get some slurp, sir? Thank you. But yeah, hell is like, I feel, too culturally important of a phrase to just throw around. It would be like somebody saying Jesus. Like, do you guys have a Jesus? Like, just as a minced oath, but like, that that's a very specific thing, my man. Like, first and foremost, it requires Jesus to have existed and for Christianity to have attained the same, like, level of, like, well-knowedness. The J-bomb isn't exactly something that you can just toss around. It has a lot of very specific and intentional cultural me meaning and relevance. But yeah, so I will almost definitely do some side content off screen, uh, just because it's a little grindy. And, like, it's fun to play, but I don't know how fun it is to watch. Um, but I will stick to, uh, 
story missions on on camera. But I think I see a worm over here. Thank you, Ranger. You should be afraid of them. Just one of them could tear you apart. Finally, I'm free. Whoops, you're alive. You're not supposed to be alive. Ah. Oh. Let's find some stuff out, shall we? Hmm, interesting. Asgrom the Painted. Burning his supporters. He's vulnerable to stealth and beasts. He hates ghouls. He has a savage weapon that makes you bleed. He's battle-hardened for more health, and he regenerates his health. Oh, God. Okay. Um, that'll honestly do it for this episode. Uh, thank you all for coming. I've been Alfred. This has been more Shadow of Mordor. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Again, it's such a problem with the name. Uh, <laughs> like, J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, set in Arda, the legendarium of Tolkien, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, to Shadow of War. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I hope you all have a good day. Bye.